Welcome to, sorry, welcome to our lecture. <laughs> All right. All right, try again. Welcome to our lecture online. Now, when we see an expression like this, at first it might catch you by surprise, but then you realize the denominator is a complex number. It's got a real part, an imaginary part. And the trick is that if we have a complex number in the denominator, we must multiply the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugate of the denominator, which means we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 1 plus i and 1 plus i. Notice that this is equal to 1, so we haven't really changed anything. Once we've done that, we realize that in the denominator, we will end up with a real number, not a complex number. And that real number will be the first term squared plus the positive of the coefficient of the second term squared. And in the numerator, we have 1 times 1 plus i, which simply comes 1 plus i. Now in the denominator, that is 1 plus 1, which is 2, so this is equal to 1 plus i divided by 2, and then we can write it as a real part, an imaginary part, which is equal to 1 half plus 1 half times i, which is the proper way of writing the final answer, because you want to write it as a complex number with a real part and an imaginary part. So 1 over 1 minus i is the same as 1 half plus 1 half i, and that is how it's done.